Hi, my name is Zach Fisher, and welcome to another one of my episodes. Today, I'm going to be talking about networking. Uh, I'm a huge fan of sci-fi and cyberpunk, and one of my favorite novels ever was Neuromancer by William Gibson. And in that book, what the premise was, and, and this was really forward thinking, but um, was that the main character could jack into cyberspace, which was a virtual reality, but it was real in the sense that he could physically manipulate lines of code and physically manipulate, say, security systems. He could um, he could hack into all of that um, physically by being into cyber in cyberspace which is a really cool concept and i think it's actually a very good idea for how to conceptualize the way that networks and computer systems work is if you imagine it as an actual um, physical location that you are traveling through to do these tasks that are necessary for running applications and, and conducting life the way that we do today. So if you think about a network, I've always kind of had a trouble conceptualizing networks until I started to think about it like this. So if you think about a network, um, <clears throat> You can actually kind of think about it in, in a way that is conductive to how we've lived our lives for a long time. And that's a road with two lanes. One going this way and one going this way. And each computer has an address. So if you are a computer, you have an address. And it's got multiple lines, just like your normal address has, and multiple ways of um, of communicating that address. Um, but so, if you think about my address, it has the number, it has the street, it has the zip code, it has the state, it has the country. So there's multiple lines of that address as in multiple lines of, so that we have, and there's even the, the county. There's, there's multiple lines of organization that enables us to take a large, uh, a large amount of information and organize it very, very easily. Uh, so you have your address, which is like, your house and you're sending this information you're 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 deciding okay guess what i want to go to another house um another house that's in my neighborhood so i'm going to so, so let's just think about this in, in terms of computers. So this is cyberspace here. And you want to communicate with your friend who's, let's just say he's in your same neighborhood. Okay. Well, the first thing that you do, your friend, he's in your same neighborhood. He's in your same...
on your same street. So the first thing that you have to do is you jack into cyberspace and what you do is you hit this thing you are in your house which is basically your computer and you decide okay guess what i'm going to get in my car and i'm going to go to my friend's house and the first thing you have to do is you have to get on the road well the um the first thing that you when you get on the road that is essentially like a um a switch so you you come out of your computer and you hit the road and that's that's a switch and the switch what the switch does is the switch directs your car because your car has no intelligence in this world. It, it, you just j jump into your car and you program it and say, this is where I want to go. Well, the intelligence is the switch. As soon as your, your car hits the road, imagine there's this switch that goes, okay, it's not going this way because it's your friend's house. It's going to go flip. Instead of going this way, it's going to go that way. And it kind of directs your car to go to your friend's house because it has the address of your friend's house. And so then, boom, you end up at your friend's house and you can talk to their computer. And then every time that they want to talk to you, same thing happens. They get in their car and they drive and they go, go and talk to you. Now, that's the very, very basics of um, a, a network. And, and each of these houses has um, an IP address. and what's called a subnet mask. Which are a bunch of numbers that help identify it. And then it also has, which is, it's like your address. So this is, um, and then it also has what's called a Mac address, which is a bunch of letters and numbers it goes like two a c dot three two a c dot blah 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 blah. It's extremely long. And what the switch does is because it's an internal ad, it's an internal network. It doesn't have to use. It doesn't have to use the, it doesn't have to use any of this higher level information because it's on the same street. So if you're, if you're 314 Ritchie versus 418 Ritchie Road, then all you have to do is take the, the last number, which is this MAC address, which is what the switch does. and 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 tell you where tell your your car your autonomous vehicle where to go okay so that's really the basics of um of how I would put into a, a virtual reality the term of a switch. It's your internal network. So say within your house, within your street, on your on your street, on your street, there's 10 houses, 10 computers. Um, 
and those are basically all of the all of the house all of the computers that are in your internal network. So if you have a house with a pho with five phones and two computers, that's your street in this in this virtual reality world. That's actual physically <laughs> reality. I hope that makes sense. But that's that's how I conceptualize it. Is that you've got these you you've got these these physical locations and the network helps you and the network and the networking devices gives intelligence to how your your house is going to com connect to other houses that the road is obviously going to be your ethernet wire as soon as you come out of your house there has to be some kind of intelligence that's going to push your car to the other house and the switch does it for for your own road but once you get out of your road there have to be other devices to enable you to communicate to um to talk to and to get to houses that are not on your road so um, i hope this helps under you understand the very very most basic concept of why we have a network switch we have a network switch to get you from one place to another to give that intelligence and give get your information from one place to another within um, within your environment within your house so that's all I've got for today my name is Zach Fisher make sure you like subscribe comment Give me any questions, comments, feedback would be much appreciated. Thanks.